George Abbott woke up one morning with severe stomach pain. Uh, I thought maybe it would go away, but it didn't go away. And I asked him, you know, well, what's wrong? And he, he said he was in such pain that he, you know, he couldn't stand it. And for him to say that, I know that it's very bad. Cheryl rushed her husband to a nearby hospital. Well, they found gallbladder cancer. This is a very rare form of cancer. Doctors performed emergency surgery to remove the cancerous gallbladder, but there was more bad news. When they did the surgery, the cancer had uh, gone down into the liver bed. And, uh, and uh, that's basically a uh, prognosis is you're not going to live very long. Their family doctor, who was also their friend, feared the worst. His, his prognosis was poor. Uh, and he, with the stage of the cancer being advanced, once it had metastasized to another organ, he is classified as advanced stage carcinoma. And for George, his treatment options were limited. And not only were those options limited, the ones that were available to him in many cases will take your life. Facing almost certain death, George got a second opinion. Same diagnosis, same prognosis. The only difference was that this doctor was a little more positive and he said to me, we're going to operate. He also said, um, it, okay, this is in the upper part of the liver, but if I open him up and I find any cancer anywhere else in the liver, I'm just gonna close it back up because then there'll be nothing we can do. At the doctor's recommendation, George did not undergo chemotherapy or take any medication before surgery. Ultimately, he knew his fate was in God's hands. And I know that, that the Bible says that it's appointed all once to die and, and then the judgment. And so uh, I was ready to accept this, that if this is the time that God wanted to take me home, I was ready for that. As the surgery date approached, Cheryl prayed for God's help. Our church got together and had a prayer meeting. And one of the ladies in the church, or maybe more than one, called the 700 Club and asked prayer for, for George. As surgeons performed the procedure, Cheryl got a phone call. I got off the phone and I just started crying. The doctor said that his liver is perfectly normal, that there was no sign of cancer whatsoever. So we were just hugging each other and crying. The doctor said it looked like a normal, healthy liver. God had taken, and I, I, I don't know how he did it. I don't know whether he just made the cancer go away. I don't know if he gave me a new liver. It doesn't matter to me. All I know is God is a God of miracles, and he healed me. They believe in the power of prayer and they trust in the sovereignty of God because there is no explanation. There's no medical treatment or explanation for that type of result. Absolutely miraculous. For the past two years, routine tests have shown the same result. No cancer. God really did heal. When God does something, he does it right. He doesn't just do it halfway. Some people today say, well, miracles went out with the apostles. Well, I'm here to tell you that miracles did not go out with the apostles, that God is a God of miracles, and He is a healer today, and He gave me a miracle, the miracle of life.